G Fan, what's good with y'all boys? It's your boy Easy G the King back to y'all with another video. And today we got another franchise. Um, I'm pretty sure I announced it not too long ago. Um, but yeah, the LA Chargers with incentives. Again, this is another franchise where it's not the typical franchise where you load in and you fix your lineup and you get stuff ready. There's certain things. This one is a little bit more than usual because this is a money franchise. Um, from what I'm knowing, I don't know necessarily the pot, but, um, yeah, it is a money franchise. Um, and I want to say I got one of the best teams in the game. Um, now I can't remember. It's not like my Jets franchise that y'all recently just seen by the time. Cause this happened before the Jets franchise, but this is me pre-recording up to date. I had to redo it. So yeah, this video should have been came out, but now I'm redoing it. But um, yeah, this one is a little different. Um, they gave us some like perks, like there's certain, I know there's like a couple ARs, you could have got some superstars, um, some dev upgrades. And they got like this little token system to where if you do a certain thing or if your player gets a player of the week, if you stream a certain amount of games, you get a couple tokens and certain uh, amount of tokens can give you certain things within the franchise. So if I, I'm going to just throw a random number out there. If I get like 10 tokens, I could probably AR Khalil Mack back down three years. So really... I'm in the perfect scenario because the Chargers don't really have a weak spot. You would probably think O-line or DB, but with the way I'm going to play with them, it's going to be constant pressure. This is not a team where I'm going to sit back and have them play a certain type of zone or have them play a lot of man coverage it's going to be probably like a lot of 50 50 60 40 depending on the team and the situation but this team's going to be constant pressure constant pressure constant pressure and then the offense in a sense should be where the money is being made now i'm clearly talking ahead of time now things have happened in the franchise where we will talk about it more when it gets to that point but as of right now on paper we're in that situation where we're one of the best teams in the game and just like in real life, the Chargers are having situations to where you look at most of the games they've lost. They've been in tight games and they just can't get it done. For some reason, the offense just doesn't click this year. I heard Herbert has an injury, but I don't know how severe the injury is. And then honestly, once they got Khalil Mack and that, that defense never really been the same. And JC Jackson, that defense... I don't know. It's like it's a missing piece. And I, I don't know if it's so much of the coaching. I'm blaming the coaching because they weren't playing like this at a point. But then you got to really consider it's possibly the players because it's like to be in the division y'all are in arguably. Well, no, I take that back. Y'all not the best division in football. At one point, y'all were thought of as one of the best divisions in football. But um, yeah. At least with him and Mahomes, arguably Justin Herbert should be in that conversation with Mahomes, Burrow, Allen, Jackson, Hurts. And it's always like he's always a nick below them, like if you were to tear them in my eyes, because he just hasn't hit that level. In a sense, I feel like we should be putting Trevor Lawrence over him in some aspects. Don't get me wrong. Herbert Goat's nice. I call him Herbert Goat. Herbert's nice, but they still got some ceilings to touch. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of talking too much. I'm gonna let the game play itself. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Um, it's your boy Easy G the King, and I'm out. Peace. Tight end, and it just I don't know. I'm not a commissioner, so I can't really complain too much. But which is why I don't. Get the trade. To the left side and take it in by Chosen. I already have Midway two pick sixes, so. Rather how he feels about it or not, the, the game goes. Buddy. I don't know what else to tell him. I have to do a lot to get what I got. Now a toss left for Pacheco. Uh, Mr. Taco. So me, so as a number one, it just doesn't make any sense to me. 
said there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way. It's second and four. They toss it to Pacheco. And he is Take that. Line of scrimmage. Play action. Now it's Tua. Flushed out right. The ball comes out. He, he coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone came around a lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that. One. Come on. I'm going undefeated. There's, there's certain teams I just shy away from, and this is one of the teams. If I use a team like this, it's legit. No beating. See, that's how you know I wasn't paying attention when I made the team. Like, what am I doing? At this point, I might as well trade my quarterback. I could talk about it, but this is not going to be fun for others. They're going to keep leaving the flat open. Like. That's, the, that's the exact reason why he didn't ban coverage. Just come back where I was going to cook. Come on now. <laughs> on first and ten, Herbert. Throw right side caught by David. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be blocked. Don't jump early and give them free. And he is in <laughs> touchdown Los Angeles. Just Crazy. It's a one yard touchdown. If we, if we keep it, we keep it. Yeah, I don't know yet. Extend their lead. The offense off the field, despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. They're going for it. Simple plays Here's like this. And it's <laughs> There's no beating me with this team. Legit. No beating me. I wouldn't it's even have fun with right. people like this. Here's Herbert. I will I will legit not lose a game. Like <laughs> sense of urgency you talked about. Yeah, this hurts. Because I didn't even try to do it to the guy. It's just... He kind of was pushing it. I didn't care. But... Yeah. In a way, you can say this is kind of an angry game, but... I didn't try to do it to you guy. To be completely honest. Uh, I, I was minding my business. And... Yeah, it kind of happened. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Not that it had to happen, but it happened. He gets it to this is just going to be too easy. You see, it's just like in real life. It's just so much you got to worry about. I'm legit paying no attention to Travis Kelsey. If he had two receivers. Watch this how this come in. I'm sending four and watch how this come through. That wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. I kind of messed it up, and they kind of got nanoed in a sense. This possession is an empty one. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. They'll roll him out. He's taken down. Well timed effort. This is going to be fun, bro. A sack from his safety position. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Yeah. They're gonna try and throw. One second. A hit as he throws down on the other side leads immediately to a first and goal. A give Eckler running to the right. And he takes it in for a chance. I'm not apologizing. This is the way I got approached. It kind of feels that way, but. Yeah, I want to get this shit over with. I just text him, but. So that pretty conclusively, I might add, shows you the perils of going for it and not making it on fourth down. This ain't going to be fun, bro. I'm, I'm just being brutally honest. I, the, the cool thing about.
G fam, as you guys can see right here, we we end up just beating him. Um, it was a weird way I edited this video. I just wanted to make it short and quick so you guys can at least see the team. Yes, we still got a bunch of videos to put out with this franchise. Um, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna stay in this franchise. Uh, due to it was just it felt too easy, like. Me fully potential with this team and the extra shit they gave us, it just felt like it was going to be very unstoppable. Um, you guys will just have to tune in to see what's to happen next. But um, yeah, once they said something about uh money involved, I said, why not just stay, see how far it goes. I'll probably play two seasons in this franchise and see where it go. But um, yeah, it just threw me off because I see Tua right-handed. It's a whole bunch of bull. That's in this franchise that I still got to figure out, even though y'all see in week one and I'm weeks ahead. So, um, I think right now we're probably around week six, seven. I'm not sure. So, yeah, as you guys can see, 38 0, I was like legit wasn't trying, I was just trying to see what was up with the league. And then, the, legit, the second I go look at the Dolphins, I see Travis Kelsey's on the Dolphins and Tua's throwing right hand. Throw on the runs. It was just throwing me off. It's still a bunch of stuff I got to look into with this league. Um, and who knows? I might not stay in there. I, I might just do one season just to say, hey, we were in it. But, um, yeah, man. That's that's it. Um, the next videos you guys are probably going to get from me is going to be a Saints. Then we probably got Ravens. Then we're going to go back to the Jets. Um, currently, I just finished week two. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to watch any franchise stuff regarding the Xbox side of anything, go look at the Twitch. It's Easy G the King. Oh, sorry. Easy G the Goat on uh, Twitch. That's where y'all find most of my Xbox gameplays. But yeah, man, uh, I'm done. Because if you look at this, that was week one. But I'll be more professional uh, for week two. So yeah, man. Uh, yeah, well, want to know. Uh, yeah, I got nothing else to say. I'm tired as hell. I'm gonna go to bed, man. It's your boy Easy G the King. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.